Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today I would actually like to make a blaze seed. It's an interesting one because we've never not been to the nether yet. So before we do that, I've got a few more things I'd like to start with. So let's get started. So the first thing is we actually use these blaze powder sets. So if we have a look at the uses of the blaze powder, oops, we need to click the right bit of course. Click in here and put the usage of these. And then we can see that if we put these into a, um, not a dissolution chamber, I one, yes, the multi-server press. So three will make one blaze rod. And then if you have a look at the use of the blaze rods, if we put these into the mechanical squeezer, find the mechanical squeezer, this, actually the, the squeezer itself will produce a chance of four, will produce four. So you're getting a, a return in this particular case of one third more, but the mechanical squeeze it gives you five. So what we can then do is we can come along here in the mechanical in the server we'll put in these three like that, and in the uh, energy well, that's the energy battery. I don't want that one. I want the mechanical squeeze here. We'll put in these two here, which are going to then get squeezed into powders. Those powders are coming out underneath here, and they are actually going back up into the top of this particular machine, and that's going to squeeze some more. So the first one we have to take this out and then we can put this one into here as well. Uh, so we need three. Three will make, end up with five. So we'll end up with five blaze rods. So while that's doing that, <laughs> let's have a look at the next thing. So blaze rods. We need to make um, a machine to do this. And this is actually this machine. I've got stuff prepared. So we need to make um, the seed reprocessor. So if we have a look at the seed reprocessor, we can actually have a look at this one by looking at the recipe for um, this one, soul jars with blaze in it. So if we look at the recipe for that, oops, I've done it again. I'm going to press the right place. What we need is a uh, soul extractor. So the straw extractor will extract one blaze rod will produce half a bucket or half a whatever it is, of a uh, soul jar for this blaze powder in here. Now the seed processor needs two sodium daggers, one machine casing, which we think we made previously. If not, they're very straightforward. They're just, just one piece of stone with four redstone and four iron. It needs two uh, daggers and two sodium ingots. Sodium ingots are basically produced by prosperity ingots, which are four prosperity shards around an ingot. That's not too difficult. Um, and the daggers themselves are produced by one gold sword with two sodium dusts on top and two ingots on the side. So I've got the swords prepared here. So let's put those in here. Here I've got the um, some prosperity ingots already prepared, 16. And then we can make, uh, we can put those into here, like the shift click it and it goes into the top first left hand corner, by the way. So you can then select these and we can make some sodium ingots. And then from here we have the next one along here is the jars, uh, it's glass. We will, we'll come to that in a minute, I think. But here I've got the machine. So we need to make these up into uh, sodium daggers. So I needed some sodium dust and I think I've left that behind. We're getting plenty, actually we get plenty, it's in here. It's in where we make the uh, stuff from here. So I've got 64, take 16. Oh, take 32 even. We have plenty. So what we now need to do is to make up the, the solium daggers. So if we look at the uses of the gold dagger, we can first of all see it like this. So we should be able to shift click those in and get one of those. And do that again. And we get a second one. They don't stack as you can see. So the next thing we can do is then is to make up the seed reprocess, this, this one here. So that was the two daggers. I reckon they go on the sides like this and two ingots go on top and bottom. So we've got that right. Yes. And that produces a soil extractor. This thing it takes fuel as a, as, a, as, a, as a mechanism to power it. Very similar to the ovens and whatever else. So we've got that bit prepared. Um, the rest of this was jars, so we need this soul dust here. The recipe for soul dust is to cook smooth soul stone. That's another rabbit hole, by the way. And smooth stone is from soul stone, which is from stone, soul stone cobble, which you would normally get from the nether. But in this case, because of course we can't, we need some solium dust plus some in any type of cobblestone like this. Eight of those in a high temperature, a jar will produce nine soul dust. So I've done that already. So we've got 12 of these. We need 12 because 
um, these jars require, uh, we need four jars. So if we look at the uses of the glass here, all, all we're going to make is this one. So we need four of these jars like that to actually make the seed. So there we go. So we need to fill these up now. So let's go and do that. So by now, I think that in here we should have five blaze rods. Fantastic. So if we actually halve those uh, and then put the other half down here like, like this, oh, wrong place again, the battery, it will actually make another five. So we can let that run through as well. But I've got already some prepared in here. I've got one stack and a, well, actually, I think it needs one stack and 16. So it, that's how I was doing that. Fairly straightforward as it happens. Let's put the reprocessor down here. We just need some fuel for it. And then because some put some blaze rods in, I've got a feeling if I shift click, it might go into the slot because, that, because of course we can use blaze rods as fuel. So let's go down here and just get some charcoal out of here. I don't know how much we need. We'll take two stacks. Like this, and then we can shift one stack of that into here. And then we can put into one of these, we can put a jar, and then we can put in some blaze rods. So that we will need, um, it was half, so we need 20 for, per jar. So as you can see, this is now going up one. And I shall come back as soon as this is, we've got all four of these fills. As you can see, it's now one and a half. So as you can see, they're nearly finished. In fact, it takes 20 blaze rods per jar. So that's not too bad. We can manage to do that, no problem. So, so this is our fourth jar, so we can take this one out of here like this. And then the uses of these, if you have a look at the uses of the... Um, so I'll do it, do that. Um, this is a bit of an odd recipe. If I look at uses of the these, you look in the mystical agriculture. That's right. So we need some Imperium essence, a solium seed base. We haven't made one of those yet. So that's two solium dust plus a prosperity seed base. We'll make one of these. So let's go make one of those and also check on what we've got in terms of essence. I do have a reasonable amount of essence. We do have enough for that one. Good. And we have enough. Uh, prosperity seed basis as well so we just need this sodium dust here which we can easily craft onto this one so that's just at the top and two of these a bit like the ingots really and then we've got our foot we've got all we need now for the for the seed so let's go and make this seed up it was actually much easier than I thought this was going to be but if you don't know it's actually quite a tough one so let's put that in the middle uh, and then we can these don't stack so we can put six of these we can put we'll use one of these for making um some soil because we're going to need the soil so that's three isn't it Oops. I had six so I missed one over here that's right and then we need I actually got too many, haven't I? <laughs> Can't count. Sorry, I'm having a bit of difficulty. Let's just take that one off there and then put the others. You have to do these one at a time. Of course, you can't do it automatically in the sense of... Okay, that should do. Press the button. And if I've got it right, it will work. It looks like it is working. Fantastic. So now, of course, we just need some uh, either Im Imperium or Supremium farmland. I need some dirt oh, i've got another quest done of course because that's one of the quests i'm just wondering where i'm going to put it up i'll probably put it over here with the other uh, nether stuff so i've got quite a few nether bits and pieces growing up here i've got a spare i've got a spare chest here we'll use that one oh actually that's probably not spare that's got the tall flowers in i cleaned all of this up and put the, the flowers into here um i did need some dirt didn't i, I need some farmland and i also need my hoe which I don't have with me. We can put these blaze rods back again. So where is my hoe? And I dirt, didn't I? A hoe would be probably in my tool chest. I've got a tool chest back here. But let's just take two of those. Um, here's the hoe, bronze hoe. So let's make up the farmland. So one, just shift, oh, can't do shift click into your own inventory, doesn't work. But you can see, easily do it into this inventory like this. And then we get our Imperium farmland. So I just make, need to make sure I've got a hop, hopper pot, a botany pot, sorry, they're called these days. We need a chest, Let's make sure we've got one of those with us. And we need a botany pot, and I should have lots of those around if I just can't see them at the moment. Let's do a quick sort. Usually, funny, when you sort things, they usually come up and appear in magically in your vision. 
even though I've had a lot of difficulty seeing things recently. So there we are. Oh, here's another seed I planted, by the way. We'll come to that in a minute. This is a, a, an ender lily. An ender pearl block is what's underneath it. And it's an ender lily seed on top of it. And it's producing ender pearls. It costs nine block. It costs nine of those. But we'll come to set this up first of all. Just carry on with what I'm doing. So chest is there. Let's put the chest down first. Shift and... Actually, shift click it on there is fine. And then we can shift click the botany pot on top of that, otherwise, it opens the chest. And then we can put the Imperium Essence in the middle of that, like right click it. You don't have to shift right click it up. And the seed we can also put in. So that's now going to grow. I'm now to, going to get Blaze Essence coming out of here. As I said, this one here is the Hopper Botany Pot with the Lily Seeds. Now, the Lily Seeds I've got tons of. You have to invest nine Ender Pearls for this. Now, the Lily Seeds are coming from crushed end stone so you can see here i've got 74 in here which is quite a lot a reasonable amount of other stuff as well i've got 17 shulker shells so what i did here is i actually upgraded or put some upgrades into here into the netherite one so i put these fortune upgrades so this increases the drop chance by three percent per upgrade but also uh, exponentially increases the power so this is basically it was 90 fe per tick and this solar panel here is a bit strange it's actually going up all right so it's pretty oh so it's produced 18 fe per tick and it's out it's, it's producing what it's actually using up so it's actually using up Oh, it's going up at the moment so in the night of course it discharged a bit here i put down a uh a diamond sluice with a gold sieve in it and into this gold sieve i put in some um cra crushed endstone so we ended up with some sh crystal shards and these ones we can also use to make an, a seed as well if look at the uses of these crystal shards here we can with some ter tertium essence we can get a crystal shard uh seed and that will produce this essence and the essence then we can use to make crystal shards uh, which are basically better end stuff but I would like to do that seed but I'll do it in my own time because it's such a straightforward one the only thing that was complicated in here was using using a gold sieve instead of a, a diamond sieve to get the other items and they do have the uses so the lumicorn rods for example the uses of this one is to make a chandelier <laughs> nothing special different types of chandeliers so let's go back and have a look at the one here the glowing bulb the uses of this one is also to produce a uh, a lantern of some description so you've got different ones term termite terminite ingots iron ingots or, or thalesium ingots the recipe for these will produce these different decorative lights i suppose they are um Chorus, chorus flowers, the uses of those ones, but basically you can make a core from mini utilities. That might be interesting. We can grow these on endstone, and only on endstone, and that will produce chorus fruit. Uh, we can also, I'm we can make that with essence as well, if I'm not mistaken. We can make um, end us at this one here. We can then make an end seed and uses of this one, or, or the uses of the essence. So we can make chorus fruit that way. End stone and purple blocks, which are basically the three things you get out of that. So there we are. So that's so that's that one. Next item in here were well, these upgrades from pipes. So this is a basic upgrade. So it's just four ingots of iron and one uh, four nuggets of iron and one redstone. We'll produce this basic upgrade. The next level up here is you've got a a gold one so this is gold ingots in here and with a using the basic pipe upgrades in, in the pipes let's take two of those and i should have got a quest for this one as well so and then the last one of these if we put these two into here with diamonds in it will give you this advanced pipe upgrade and that's actually quite neat we'll have a look at that in a minute the other things here was just a was basically was just a common backpack here auto pickup disabled which is just leather in the chest i thought it might be useful to have a backpack some extra storage especially when you're traveling around and then you can put this in the middle oh actually in the middle slot here and then you'll get a, a an uncommon backpack that holds 33 stacks and this one well basically it's nearly twice as that one as you can see 
So then we can, I think we can either put, I'm not sure we can put this in terms or not, let's right click it. So there you are, you've got um, 11 times 3, so that's equivalent to a single ch chest plus a little bit more. And then this has a, an upgrade as well, so if we look at the use of this one, we can then upgrade this with diamonds and chests, and a block of diamonds will produce this one. And does it tell me how many? 66 stacks, so that's like a big double chest, which is pretty good. And then the use of this, I think there's a fourth one. Yeah, there's the ultimate, which holds 99 stacks, so that's massive. But you need another stuff for that, so we're not ready to do that one yet. And the colours here, you've got dyes in each case, so there we are. I wonder if you can put this into your slots, if you have a slot for this one. You can shift click it in, maybe it doesn't, no, we can't shift click it anyway. And sometimes you can put these into, for example, a back slot, slot, but you can't. As far as I can see, try it in there. No, it doesn't go in. I don't think that just hides it, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it just hides it. So there we are. Can't use that and that, but it's just like a, a portable bag with a reasonable amount of storage. Very good for when we go travelling and, and do some exploration. And I did do some more exploration, exploration and I found some more lost tr trinkets. I found this one, Magneto. The other ones we've already got, I think, lunch bag, um, minus pick, horseshoe. Uh, some of these are common. This one's actually, is actually also common. But this one's equivalent to a magnet, so we can right click this to learn this one. And we can, but then we can activate it here. So let's just activate the magneto. So the other ones aren't activated, so I need a lot more slots to do this one. This turtle shell I also put into here as well, but I'm mm, not sure. And then it says here you can press actually a key, and you have to program the key. So if I press C, it will turn it on for a short period of time. Um, and we can pick up stuff. Right. So that's that bit done. Next thing we need to do is, uh, I was going to, we have a lot of choices now, because um, we've got a lot of resources and they're coming in automatically, as you can see. I uh, basically just about emptied out this chest and it's got 2000 in here. And what I've done here is I've put another chest beside it, which we had before. And then this is going, being fed with a pipe, item pipe down here into this chest and then that's feeding this into there here so basically i've just sieving gravel so gravel will give us diamonds and it's got this extra bit on it so now we've got 26 times and, and you can see this imperium or, um inferior essence is going up quite quickly as you saw and it's actually gone up twice two while i've been standing here so this is actually increasing so maybe the next thing to do is to improve this in terms of uh, this solar generator. The solar generator has one. So let's go and have a look at, oh, I wanted to do pipes, didn't I, first of all? These advanced pipes. So for example, here, I've got these pipes set up on, on here, and I wanted to basically do the input and the output. So you can, this is that, this time we've got um, six blaze rods. So if I put those into, to the bottom here, we then end up with 11 blaze rods. Let's do that just for the fun of it. So they're going to get crushed to five each, that's 30. 30 times divided by three is 10, so we're going to end up with 11 blaze rods in here. So that's how that works. Very nicely is it up, as you can see. So here we've got the output here. So then you can right click this, one of these onto here, for example. Um, I think we have to, sh oh, it's right click and then put it into here. So when you put it into here, then it goes up a level. So for example, here we've got redstone mode ignored, but the other two, we can't do anything yet. So you have to upgrade this. So for example, I wanted to put in, um, to have all three of these. So it distributes nearest first, and then you can put a whitelist or a blacklist filter, and then you can add items into here. So for instance, if there are multiple items, we can say, okay, I only want to output these items from here. So in this particular case, we'd be wanting to output um, blaze powder. Have I got any, can I, no, no, no. can I search for it? I think we just put an item in there. Let's try that and get a blaze powder. Let's go and get a blaze powder. I'm sure I've got one around here. Yes, I've got one. So how do we do this filter mode, oh, filter mode, add, 
and then we can put the blaze powder into it. Can I shift click it in? Oh yes, there. So then it's a Minecraft blaze powder. So that is the tag you could have put in here. Um, NBT data is for other stuff. So we're uh, we're we are now whitelisting these. Match only items provided. Yeah, I think that's all we have to do, and that's it. And then submit that. And so that's now going to export only blaze powder from here. So by the time we've got this, we should have. You see, we've now ended up with 11. Actually, that didn't take very long at all, did it? Let's just take out, uh, keep taking these out. Nine. That's what we need to do next. We put those into here like this. See, as you can see, these are definitely coming out. If I had anything else, if we've put anything else coming out of it, it wouldn't come out. Um, but it does remind me of this. I made a... I must mistake. Well, I actually didn't make a mistake. I just didn't know something. So I've, what I've done here is I've made a new squeezer and a drying basin. We already made a drying basin before. What I didn't know about was if you put down the drying basin here, you'll see it's got two channels on here. So if you put down beside that a, dr a drying basin and then you put a log in it uh, like this and then you jump on it, this is the early way of doing this. It's going to push the liquid into this, into here like this, this mineral resin, and that's going to set. And then when it sets, we're going to get out, as you've already seen in here, we get out these blocks of crystallized mineral like that. And that would have, then you can then split this into nine and you'd get these crystallized mineral chunks like that. So that was a bit easier than the way I was doing it, which was basically chopping down trees. So there we are. I can leave that for the time being. I haven't done the mechanical one of these yet. I'm not sure I need to, but I would like to look at integrated dynamics as a mod anyway, because it's got a lot of it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. It looks like it's got a, quite a lot of automation in it. So let's come over here and come back to this one. We haven't done anything with that mechanism today, but I have noticed that the oops, I've just turned it around for. I forget that this wrench actually will turn things around for you. So if you look at here, I have got um, plenty of fuel in here. This one's also full of, of power. And the bio generator is actually powerful enough to supply at least these three, mach three machines here. We've got the crusher enrichment channel and the metallurgic confuser. And then we can take this out of here like this. And that's going to carry on working. So we can then put those into the top here, but you see it's already I've got an excess. So as it, as it make, uses that, that's inducing power, of course, which is being taken from here, but then we're putting it back into there. So one of the th really interesting things about mechanism is its logistics components, but we're gonna have a look at that another day. The other thing I have f figured out myself as it happens, is of course I was looking at the recipes. If we have a look for this one here, cast iron ingots, we're going to use a lot of those. The recipe for it is the way we've been doing it so far was tempered glass. So with 16 iron and one coal will give 16 tempered glass. But you can also smelt it. So you can put it into a blast or whatever. This enriched iron. Enriched iron is from mechanism, so you need some coal. Uh, and some iron ingots. Now, one of these pieces of coal here, when it's infused, will give you eight iron. So actually, it isn't as good as using the tempered glass way, because that gives you 16. So normally you'd get, the same as in it for redstone, you'd get 10. But if you enrich the coal, let's go ahead and do that. Just I've got two out there. Uh, that's one of the thick features. If we come along here and, then, and enrich this coal, we will get here a an enriched coal, whatever it's called, I don't know exactly. How. Enriched carbon from mechanism, okay. Then you can put that into here. And this is full, okay, that's why it wasn't working. And it will give 80 carbon, so that's, I think I've got some car. I think this is being processed here. So this is now enriching um, iron. So with carbon in here, and that's going to now enrich iron. And I think I need the other 19. So look, 270 
plus 8, yeah, that's probably about right. That should be 260, yeah, exactly right, yeah. So this is going to end up with another 28 in each time, which we can then process, and we can either process these into steel, uses of this. We can also make reactor glass, which we're not ready yet to do. I thought I had another recipe for this. Oh yes, blasting. So you can blast that into here, but if you put it into the infuser with some more coal, it will then produce steel grit. We covered that last time. Well, we're coming towards the end of the episode, but first of all, let's have a look at the quests. We've done some quests in miscellaneous. Um, so the ones I did, with, we've done these basic pipe upgrades. So let's see what we get for random rewards. So we get a tin cluster, very nice. Another one, we get an obsidian, but we've got quite a few of those as it happens, but that's fine. We can recycle those to obsidian and we get an iron helmet with a probe. Now that's actually quite a good reward as it happens. Um, I might, might use this one. I think you can take it off. We've also done some mystical agriculture quests. Oh, I did these as well. Liquid trash can. That was just happened to be, f I found it um, when I was loot going through some loot chests. So that completed that quest. And I also made a diamond wand, which is basically two sticks uh, and a diamond, not too much of a big deal. Um, and I got one of those. So what did we get for that one? And we got some lead seeds. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Maybe we'll plant those because they are quite handy to have. Of course, that completes a quest in its own right. <laughs> so, um, lead seeds, I think I am doing mystical agriculture in this chest. I'm not 100% sure now, to be dead honest with you. Um, what else did we get? Because I didn't sort my inventory before I started. Oh, I did take my oxygen tank off. That's actually quite interesting. We'll do that. Look at that in a second as it happens. Oh, we also got tin clusters, isn't it? Oh, I can smelt those. An obsidian boat. Um, what I'd like to do is to automate this. And we'll look at that next time. Because it's not... I have to put into here, um, into this chest, cobblestone in order to make lava. But what it would be nice is to actually automate this. So a lot I can do here, for example as it does actually receive a redstone signal when it's got fluid in here. So you can see here, this has actually got uh, is a seared tank and beside it's a comparator. So that's actually generating a redstone signal, as you can see. Uh, this actually tells you it's generated. It doesn't tell you what the value is. You have to put a redstone dust here. Let's just fill this up a bit so it's got enough, so it's got enough fuel to carry on with. So the idea is I'm going to use um, Integrated dynamics to do this, and basically automate it so it puts in as many uh, as many cobblestone as it needs into this chest, and then this recipe will just carry on automatically. It's running at the moment, but it's run out of cobblestone. So that's one. That's one thing I've got to look. We're going to do it soon. So rather than mean, I'm do this. We're going to recycle this obsidian boat here. And that is, I think, that just automatically works. Yes, it does. And then it puts us stuff into this hop here. So I got two obsidian from that, uh, which is uh, which is fine. <laughs> We've got. You see, I've got a lot of obsidian boats in one of these chests. I've got two. That's probably enough anyway for the time being. I've got. A, oh yes, I put the lead seeds into here. That's fine. And what else did we get from here? I got a, an add-on upgrade. This one is going into here, I guess. Yes, we got two, two of those already. This is for um, industrial foregoing. We've not done that yet. We'll have to look at that as well at some stage or other. This flux magnet is using a bit of power, but not very much. Oh, let's put the helmet on. The helmet's actually quite neat. It basically allows you to, if you press shift on things, you can see what's inside chests. Uh, which you wouldn't be able to do normally without here. So you can see what's in, in this chest with the, with the one pro helmet on. If you take it off and press shift again, you can't see. Oh, you can actually. It's a I think, oh, right, I'm talking rubbish. I was pretty sure that's one of the things you got from the helmet, but maybe it, we've got it already in the pack. So there we are. The other thing I want to do is have a look, quickly look up here. I see I've got another, sh I've got another pig. This, this, the pigman appeared. It must have been a pig that got hit by lightning. That's pretty and rare. I extended this island out a bit, as you can see. I wonder if I can get out of here by jumping across. 
No, I can't. I've got a gate over the other side over here. Uh, and the ships are about... I'm, I've been basically extending this. There's two rabbits in this boat. I don't know whether or not that they can get in or out from there. <laughs> we'll have to go and have a look at some other stage. Some other time. Come back down again. Um, so we've got cows, we've got rabbits, and we've got one pig. We need another pig, then we can breed those up as well. Right, just before we go now, because this is the last thing, we'll just collect the rewards for these two seeds we've got. The lead seed that appeared automatically because we got a reward of a lead seed, and that's giving us, I don't know what, <laughs> it didn't tell us. Uh, and so look at the, the blaze seed, that should also give us something, and I don't know what that's given us either, because it shouldn't, didn't tell us what we've got there. And I'm not sure I'm seeing it in here either. That's a bit strange. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I've got this one, an adult tier two upgrade, that's for certain. So one of they did work, but I'm not sure exactly what the other one is. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Normally it tells you. Anyway, 